Hello, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you again with a commission for repeat customer AC Reinhardt. This time he wants Honey the Cat. Now I made Honey the Cat a bunch of times, so by now most of you should be familiar with the recipe, although there are a couple of new techniques that I use this time. Uh, so let's get right down to it. Uh, the base figure is of course Amy Rose. I mentioned before how much Honey the Cat resembles the Amy Rose from Sonic Adventure, and I'm guessing it has something to do with reuse of a 3D model. But let's just get to making the toy itself. Uh, so starting with the head, of course there is um, making her eyes separate and uh, sculpting on all of her new hair and new ears, ears that go behind the hairband rather than in front of them. Um, although this time I once again used those plastic sheets to make the lace in her hair. Um, which was Reinhardt's request. Um, these lace, this kind of lace is so much harder to work with because you gotta, you gotta cut, like, you know, like cutting those little diamond shapes into it. It's, it's really tough to do because you gotta like put an exacto knife through it and you can't use scissors except on the edges. It, it's, it's kind of difficult to do with this stuff, but it does make a much sharper, pointier thing, which kind of looks more like the uh, Sonic the Fighters game model. And this time, the, uh, the the lace is actually sculpted on as part of her hair. Uh, this was to ensure that they would stay on without the need for additional adhesive. Um, you know, I've had problems where the lace comes out. Uh, so yeah, that was all the work that went into her head. Um, next, let's talk about her body. Alright, so as you can see from this charming panel in the comic book, Honey and Amy actually have a pretty similar dress. Um, in fact, in the comic book, they've actually come up with the idea that Honey's fashion company made Amy's dress, which is kind of adorable. So, of course, the body modifications are going to be relatively slight. Um, it's really just adding a cat tail and the distinct little wings on the back, along with, once again, using the plastic sheet to make the lace that comes out of the dress. Uh, with a quick little pink job, and yes, I did cut the slits on the side to separate the black band like like in the original. I just didn't do that before. <laughs> um, we have Honey the Cat's body. Uh, the shoes, again, a pretty similar affair to Amy's. I just had to use my Dremel to sand the toes a bit pointier. And the gloves, uh, sanding away Amy's ring a bit so I can put on some more of that plastic lace. Alright, with all the components done, let's take a look at the completed figure. So here's the completed Honey the Cat figure. Um, because of the increased diameter the lace adds to her dress, her arms don't really go down by her sides, but that's okay, she's always she's always gesticulating and happy anyway. Um, now, quick little bit of trivia about the figure itself. Back in the day, when I made Honeys out of Amy Rose, I would sand the toes away into a point and find the plastic underneath was white. But now, when I sanded the toes away, the plastic underneath was pink. The same type of plastic used to make her head, body, and legs. And it, I guess it doesn't really have much impact because the plastic still has the same feel and durability. It's just an interesting little bit of trivia that they stopped using different color plastics. Well, I hope you guys like this honey figure, and we'll hopefully have another custom video up pretty soon. Have a good day then.